Lake Schwerin is one of the largest bodies of water in Germany. Located on its southern shore is the country's smaller state capital, Schwerin. Its cathedral has the tallest steeple in northern Germany. It towers 120 meters above the ground. The market square in front of the cathedral features a statue of a lion in honor of Schwerin's founder, Henry the Lion. The tour guide is dressed as another famous son of Schwerin. Mannequin Peter is the castle ghost. Every castle has a ghost. Since the 12th century, there have been all kinds of ghosts, including poltergeists. Because he was small, ours is called Mannequin Peter. And this is where he is said to have lived, Schwerin Castle. The first buildings on the site were erected a thousand years ago. The present castle has undergone extensive renovation. In the beginning, the castle was just seen as an expensive building site. We got the impression that the locals weren't really aware of this jewel. It seemed a bit like the fairy tale castle in Sleeping Beauty, while the princess is asleep. Schwerin is the capital of Mecklenburg-Vorpommern, and the state parliament is housed in the castle, which was once home to the Dukes of Mecklenburg. The splendid throne room dates from the 19th century. The last of the scaffolding will come down in 2014, but then we'll start all over again. The castle is going to remain a building site, but we hope the work won't detract too much from its beauty. Schwerin's old town is full of 19th century half-timbered houses. The Pfaffenteich is an artificial lake created more than 800 years ago. It's the perfect place to take a short pause while exploring the city. Schwerin also boasts one of northern Germany's greatest art collections. The State Art Museum is home to an impressive collection of Dutch paintings, the second largest in Germany. The museum also has almost 90 works by Marcel Duchamp from France, one of the 20th century's most significant avant-garde artists. There's currently a special exhibition to commemorate the city's 850th birthday. It features images inspired by the city by artists from Schwerin and further afield. One Schwerin photographer was particularly fascinated by the old ruined buildings that can still be found all over the city. Cities are always changing. Cities are never finished. One has to deal with and accept places that are in transition, like ruins, without immediately wanting to make them look nicer or tear them down and build something new. That is an option, but it takes time. You have to accept that cities are always changing. Castle ghost Mannequin Peter ends his city tour in front of a small Baroque church. Schwerin may be small for a state capital, but it has a long and varied history. A must for anyone paying a visit to northern Germany. <laughs>